guys! So today I have a haul for you. Um, I went shopping with my friend today because I was really bored and I had nothing to do. And um, just then, like 30 minutes ago, I went to Target with my mom and I got some essentials which were also sort of like some things that I wanted and she said she'd purchase them for me. So yeah. So I went to Cotton On and that's literally the only place I got stuff from which kind of sucks but it's alright. So the first thing I got was... Uh, this basic tank top, I don't know if you guys can tell because like, the lighting kind of sucks in my room. But it's just a basic navy blue tank top and it's flowy and it's really long so I have to sort of cinch it up at the bottom. But I thought it would be nice just for casual days as well as um, practice days. The reason I went to Cotton On was to actually get this sweater. Um, I saw this, well Alexa found this for me. It says, uh, it's a basic maroon sweater, it says make art not war which is a um, an Obey logo or slogan I believe. I have no idea. I kind of liked it. I was going to buy a phone case that had this on there with like the, you know, the Obey drawings or whatever. But I didn't get it so instead I got this. It's pretty new. I actually really like it. I don't know if you can tell. It has like this weird glare on it. But yeah, it's just, it just says Obey on the bottom. Anyways, um, so I saw this at Cotton On and I was like, mm, why not? I need a new sweater because it's almost fall because California weather has been crazy. You know how it's been really hot? And now it's like insanely cold. But anyways, I just look at this. There's no um, pocket on the bottom, which kind of pisses me off because I love putting my hands in my pocket just to keep myself warm. And I'm not a fan of these two white strings, so if anything, I can always take it off. And But it's really cozy. And there was only this one left, and it's a large, and I'm pretty petite, so I thought um, it wouldn't fit me. I tried it on. It's a bit long, but I was like, I can work with this. You know, I might grow into it. That's what we all say. Um, but yeah, this was 2 for 40 so Alexa got one that's a little um, different than mine's, but they're mine. So I got this one for $20. On the way out, um, Cotton On during the fall always have... They always have scarves in the back, like promotional scarves. So like if you purchase something, you buy it for like $10 or $5. Today it was $5 and I was like, sorry. And I was like, yeah, I wanted one. So I got one. It's an infinity scarf. It's um, sort of like, uh, it's, I guess you can say an olive green color. It's sort of dark and it's really cozy. Um, cotton on scarves are the best, cheapest scarves you can get anywhere. And they're pretty good quality. I gotta cut that off. But um, it's really knitted and warm and I thought it would be really cozy. There was a lot of different colors, so if you like this maroon, cream, blue, black, this, and gray. So yeah, it's $5 and it's perfect for the fall time. Today I went to Starbucks and I got a pumpkin spice latte and uh, they taste just like gingerbread lattes and those are my favorite. So if you like gingerbread lattes, try out the pumpkin one because my sister who works at Starbucks says it's basically the same thing. The topping is just a little bit different. So yeah. Anyways, back on track. Now I went to Target and I got a lot of goodies. I'm really happy because I haven't been to Target to buy like essential stuff and makeup for a long time because I'm just broke. I spend all my money on food. Literally, if you see my Instagram, it's all food. It's <laughs> all food because I like food. So anyways, I went to Target with my auntie and then she just, she was like, I'll buy it for you. She's like, don't worry about it. So I was like, thanks mommy. All right, the first thing I got was, um, Chic. Wait, that came out wrong. There's two, there's a replacement one on the inside and it has five blades. I thought that was really nice. This was, um, $8. And with that, I had to get the shaving cream or the little, I don't even know what this is called gel, shade gel. And I got the one with um, Gillette Satin Care with Olay in it, just so it's like, it's for more sensitive skin, which is what I have. So I'm excited to use this. Even though it's like, you know, you're supposed to shave your legs in the summer, I kind of forgot. So I'm doing it for the winter, because I'm weird. The next thing I got was um, St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. Um, I've been using my brother's face uh, wash, it's Origins from Macy's, pretty good brand. But um, I've been kind of, what was it called? breaking out recently, just little ones because I kind of have blessed, you know, skin. But um, I guess my skin doesn't really like it. I still love this, so I bought one. It's only $3 if you're interested. Next, I bought a new heat tamer spray from Tresemme because I have two over there. One's filled with water just to mist my hair and shape it, and one's almost empty, so I needed a new one. Um, I've been curling my hair every Wednesday because Wednesday's the day I don't have color guard practice in and I've been like straightening my hair like every other day or every single day so I was thinking of just trying to stop. It's, I mean it's the winter, I don't need straight hair. But yeah, 
Next about a loofah, because every two months you're supposed to, you know, change your loofah because you always wipe, you, ooh, it smells like rubber. Oh, that's gross. You rub away your um, dead skin cells and it'll get caught in there and it's kind of gross to keep using it. So, new one, lovely, it's pink and this is like $2. Heat hammer spray is like $4. Next, because my hair has been so dry because I keep using, you know, hair strainer stuff on it, I bought this um, Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Nutrient Spray with avocados and olive and shea, shea butter for dry damaged hair. And I, if you guys watched my um, video, I, I think it was like my very first vanity video, whatever, I had this a come like two, three years ago, a couple of years ago, and I loved it. And I saw it the other day and it was almost out. It's probably really old. I was like, ah, I don't want to use it on my hair. So I bought a new one today. It works like magic, and I love this thing. So this was like three, four dollars. You shake it up, um, get all the oils and everything together. You shake it onto your dry hair, like the ends, and it becomes super silky and super non frizzy as well. So it's like perfect, and it smells good. So that's always a bonus. Next, after I wash my face with the uh, Saint Ives thing, I need lotion for my face because I never lotion my face, which is actually really bad. So I bought a Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I've heard I've heard really good things about this, so I was like, yeah, let's give it a try. And plus, you get a bonus moist morning burst hydrating gel moisturizer in the back. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like this really tiny one. And I was like, cool, you know, this is like a little travel one. So that's it. Next, every time I go to Target, I always get Starbucks and I always get an Elf eyeliner. But Starbucks was closed today, which kind of sucks. But anyways, I got a e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. I probably have three of these now. They're sitting right there, but they run out easily. They don't run out easily, but I just kind of like to have backup over backup because I line my eyes on the daily, like all the time. So I bought another one, and it's $2, and they work like magic. Um, the past few weeks, I've had a lot of color guard football games and one parade, and I think competition season's coming up, so we need more eyelashes. So I bought two. This is the natural lash kit from... Uh, e.l.f. and they're one dollar each which is amazing. You can use them up to two to three times. They're not well made honestly because they're kind of like cheap plastic. The glue I've been using that because I haven't had any glue for the past few weeks so I bought one. This is the duo adhesive. This is white. They have the gray one but I'm not a fan of that one. I don't know it just looks a little bit weird. I like the white one. So I bought these just for color guard and because I have no more glue. So this was six dollars and these are together two dollars. Last but not least I bought a new mascara because the mascara combo I've been using recently is the Great Lash Big one from Maybelline and the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion from CoverGirl which Joey gave me and I use this on my bottom I use this on the top and you know how um, mascara will kind of get old and gross and that's when you need to toss it which I'm gonna actually be cleaning out my makeup today I'm gonna be tossing everything that I don't need which is probably gonna be half my stuff because they're gonna get old and bacteria is kind of gross so I'm starting to like you know clean out the unnecessary things I don't need but anyways so I decided to get new mascara and I'm excited this is the L'Oreal voluminous million lashes and this is in blackest black and I've heard it's really dark and I like that so I'm actually gonna try that on soon um the head brush is pretty big I did get the waterproof because sometimes waterproof can be clumpy and I don't think I really need it. And this was $8. I was like, Mom, it's pretty expensive. Let's just get Maybelline. And Mom's like, you always get Maybelline. Why don't you try L'Oreal? <laughs> I was like, okay. So I got this and um, I'll tell you guys how it is because I've heard really well things about this like one to two years ago. So now I'm finally going to come around to trying it and that is my haul. Um, I also got new rainbows. It's the light brown color with the one braid, one braided side on my Instagram if you want so Instagram and Twitter information is always going to be down in the down bar below it's vkso if you want to check me out um my Instagram is private so if you follow me I'll I'll let you follow me and Twitter you can just I don't know check up on it um but yeah other than that I hope you guys enjoyed the past few weeks without me because I've been busy during senior year doing nothing but eating <laughs> and failing in my classes all right I'll talk to you guys later bye